what's up guys it's black Knight back with some more ra content we are on the verge of masters playoffs but first we have to see who will win between fazar and having a working pc and failing that who will take that fourth spot one of those people still looking for that is of course the person known as Andrew, aka the polyfluor alkyl substance also known as a forever chemical because this guy cannot get got a masters he's been here forever now up here in the top it is the child on a sugar rush also known as tux he's going to be playing as ukraine and i have been told that there is a tux pause at some point probably during this game maybe it was during game two we'll have to find that out as we go along the road now of course we are back here on pleasant plains this map is probably one of the most if not the most popular map in radical so far i mean you i really like it i think players really like it and that's probably why it's really popular uh, definitely an old school lad map. I think it's been around for at least three or four years. Probably came back with the first lad pack, I believe. So, looks like we got uh, Andrew just sending out some scouts right here, and Tuck is going for a straight War Factory rush. That is a bold move. I'll let's see if Andrew will be smart and go in with an early scout. Not something you typically see is a War Factory rush on this map, so I'll be very interested to see how it actually turns out. Uh, if Andrew does see that this oil dirk is uncaptured, which He's not going to see it with the Engineer or any rifles, it looks like, anytime soon. But he might get some early rifles in there. That could make all the difference. Chuck is going to be very vulnerable with just a power plant. We'll have to see if he goes super greedy and skips that Rax too, which it does look like he is going to do. So this is a very greedy build. He's even going Harvester first, so uh, he's very lucky that Andrew is not Ukraine this time. No, he typically is. He's uh, switched up his game to allies a little bit. Uh, some early grins here would actually probably quickly end this game and dash Tux's any last hope of reaching that fourth spot in Masters. He also uh, placed his ref on the small patch first, which is a little bit interesting, I guess, because his War Factor is going to be over here. That means all of his harvesters can come rally out this way, which is maybe a little bit better. However, you know, just that early income is super important, and this little carelessness on Micarena's harv is actually going to be a big deal. Uh, you're going to be very light on income as a War Factory Rush. You don't have that extra Harvester in the beginning like you do with a double ref to give you a little bit comfortable float. But it does mean that your eco does scale better in the long run, especially when you go super greedy like Tux is doing. Four Harvesters are already up and Andrew is just now on two and a War Factory. So you can quickly see the economic gains here and they are there. But, uh, you know, he's going to quickly harvest this patch. This Harvester is probably going to be uh, not needed. And then this one is also pretty small on this map too, so it'll be very interesting what goes on here. Looks like he's already got two racks too, so very interesting build. It's going to be kind of like a mint variant with the three racks, and then fourth racks actually, and then SD probably. But we'll have to double check on that for sure. And he is going for a six harvester, so now I have no idea what's going on. This actually might be a spicy uh, Rex ref, eh, spicy tux special of harvester cheese. Andrew is going to win the first engagement there with scouts, which is nice. Might actually win that one too if Tux's guy goes to the right. Engineer is sitting in the wings. We'll have to see. And we have that sixth harvester out now. Is there more harvesters? Nope, he's going into light tanks now. So it's just a six harvester build, not full light tanks. Uh, Moods will be a little bit disappointed. Uh, six harvester build against Andrew, who you're pretty sure is going to do some type of light vehicle build, even though he does have an SD. So maybe he's doing something different too. Although I do see two light vehicles coming out for Andrew, so it's probably going to be that light tank build with a bunch of racks to push. Tuck's moving out his main MCV, which is very interesting. Uh, he's going for a War Factory rush into four racks into a single MCV out with six harvesters and now a double light tank, so he's going to be pumping out those light tanks. Not going to get an SD for quite a while, and I guess he's not going to need it since he has established this up here. So I'm very curious to see who actually has the bigger army right now. It looks like Tux has a slight edge, but He's got way more Raxes than Andrew, so as soon as he gets this ref established in about another two minutes or so, Tux should overtake in army value just by that alone. And you can already kind of see it here, 76 to 84. But both players are going to have similar number of light vehicles, and that's that's really all that matters with these early engagements, especially light tanks where you know they can pretty much instantly be popped by six rockets. Uh, whoever loses the first is probably going to sweep the engagement if you can keep those tanks alive just a little bit to provide that extra vision too that can make all the difference but army value is still very similar Andrew also now up to four raxes tucks up to a five or actually he's up to six now and he's moving out that mcv again so probably not going to see a single mcv for a long time in this gameplay 
Andrew, on the other hand, will have medium tanks out at the minimum, which is going to be way better than light tanks. Uh, for an extra $150, you get like an extra three rockets of soaking damage, so that's uh, quite a, more efficient and everything. Just some random rifles going down here and there, nothing too big. In fact, there's only been 300 and 600 destroyed comparatively. Uh, this this aisle might just be one big clash and the game's over. That uh, That's like the Dawn B special. There's one big engagement and whoever wins that tends to win the game. Alternatively, you can flank Dawn B and then uh, kind of end the game that way. Nice little ranger right here from Tux, just scouting, picking up all these rifles. There's quite a big line of rifle scouts. And this ranger actually didn't go right between the tanks, which is good. It's going to see that random medium take out there. So now Tux knows that there is an SD, probably expects a second MCV to be coming out, which is not coming out. Andrew is just going tank, 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 which I do like. He's up to seven racks now, I believe. Nope, one, two, three, four, five. Still two more racks is coming. And he's got another War Factory coming. So this is a very weird game, not what you would expect, but I think that's why we're all here looking for something exciting. Tux has a lot of light tanks, which... You know, when you get light tanks in this number, the crushes can be absolutely insane. Especially when Andrew does split like this for smaller attack forces. We'll have to see. Oh, Tux has this scouted too, which is really nice. He's going to pull all his army down here. And it looks like he's actually splitting also. He's aware that this is here too, but he's not pulling that harvester away. Actually, it's going to get back just in time. And Andrew's going to be forced back there unless he wants to stay. There is a lot of light tanks, but again, one instantly gets popped. Second one instantly gets popped. And now Tux has four or five light tanks left versus two in a medium tank. Uh, a lot of rockets there for Tux too. Thanks. Now we got Tux going in on the bottom, but he's going to get enveloped by this uh, attack by Andrew, which is actually going to be really good if he can save this Harvester. Tux is probably going to try to commit for it, and Tux is going to get slammed right here. Harvester goes down, a little unfortunate there, but now Tux is going to turn into it, and I think Andrew's just going to cleanly take this. Great crushes so far. Light Tank's not connecting for Tux at all. Oh, finally gets some crushes there at the very end, but loses all that army for pretty much nothing. And now it is a very clean sweep there. 11,000 to 4,000 lost. Another light tank going down for Tux. Unfortunately, Andrew is going to have to pull back here as his medium tank was stuck in the back. And it, Tux is probably going to regain some of that army value, but he's going to have to deal with this, and that is not enough to deal with that, I don't think. Uh, probably should repair that medium tank, but that's okay. One random scout sees that from Tux, so he's going to be more than aware of this, but I think he's focusing up here right now. Looks like Andrew is still trying to find an angle on there, but he's just going to get slowly whittled down. Now, here he goes in on the bottom. Once I take instantly gone, that heavily wounded meter tank also gone. And Andrew's going to push back, but he could definitely stay there if he really wants to. Looks like he does have a second MCV where Tux is still on that one. He is up to two War Factors now, full Raxes. And Andrew looks like he canceled that War Factor earlier. Andrew's pushing all the way back here, and I don't know why. I don't agree with that. He's going to. He should be okay up here if these target fires good with the rockets. Ooh, a turn third actually helped too. Oh, but the crushes were pretty good. Unfortunately, all the light tanks are gone. Now there should be a pillbox coming up, and Tux should be clicked back right here in just a second. Let's see. Oh, he's pulling the Harvester, too. That's actually bold. He's going to lose the Harvester. I don't think he needed to do that, but it is going to help save him that much more. See if he can get a mechanic out, which, since he does have SD, he can totally do. Same time, Tux is going to flink down here on the bottom. Andrew is aware of that army that he retreated earlier. It does look like a lot of it got shaved off. And the, the army value and destroy loss is actually quite even again, so... Uh, looks like he's going to go rotate down on the bottom. Uh, I think that was a bad pathing on there. Unfortunately, Tux is going to lose too. That should maybe cue Andrew in if he doesn't see the army here. Should maybe think that it's back here. We'll have to see. He's pulling everything down here on the bottom. No harvester up there. He needs to transfer at least one. And both players just building a ref. Tux has finally got that SD out, so we're going to see some medium tank transition here in just a second. In fact, there's already two up there. But Andrew has not seen this army, and this could be pretty good, especially if he moves up a lot of this army away, which he did. Uh, he might lose that SD. He's going to lose probably at least two harvesters unless he's super on top of it. At the same time, looks like Andrew might be diving for the main. We'll have to see where he goes. Nope, he's going to go for the expansion. Unfortunately, that pillbox is going to get a lot of value just shaving off at its perfect range. Good pullback there for Andrew. does lose quite a bit, though, but going to force all the harvesters off here. And now Tux has to respawn. If Andrew kills this off real quick, he'll be in a really good position. See, this is going down in the back, too. I'll take a look at it. One Harvester instantly gone. Andrew is aware of it. He pulls back, but he's going to lose that Harvester. And now Tux is probably going to kill both those refs. Same time, Andrew on this side, just pulling his army through, killing the old Derek. That's not bad. He's going to go on a similar flank, but Tux looks like he is aware of it as well. 
back here that SD is in trouble, so we're going to see some more light tank coming out from Andrew in just a second. But Tuck shouldn't be able to push too much more, unless Andrew just does not engage into this at all. He's got the vision advantage, but he's now he doesn't have the armor advantage. He's going to lose an Arax, another power plant, that's nothing too terrible at all. Attack here by Andrew not going well, but this attack in the back does get two harvesters, that is pretty good. Actually might get a third one just because the bad harvester pathing, path and it does go down, and now Tux is actually in a pretty bad position. Andrew's got a great little concave right here. His tank's in the front so far, it's still alive. It's finally going to go down in just a second, but Tux is running very low on armor, or rockets rather. He's got this army in the back, which is going to be nice, but I think Andrew traded out a lot better than he could have. Last unit's going down there, and yeah, the destroyed loss is still slightly in Andrew's favor, but the army value is actually heavily in Tux's favor. So this is going to be very interesting. That War Factory looks like it almost went down. Uh, Andrew on two War Factories now still. Got his SE back up here again. But yeah, he doesn't have any units. And Tux might just push out and clean this top base out. Which is very important for Andrew's eco right now. Uh, he definitely needs to reestablish here too. So he needs to move that mini suit down. This is Andrew's only armor right now. If Tux gets distracted by it, that could actually work out in his favor. Tux's second MC going all the way to the top. Tries to steal more than half that map from Andrew. Which is really good if he could pull that off. But he might just get surrounded by light tanks right here. I don't think Andrew's quite seen that MCV, so he's going to luckily get away with that MCV. Just beat him tank just randomly there for Tux. I like that Andrew's trying to preserve his light tanks, get the infantry to target that. Now here comes the attack by Tux. We'll have to see what Andrew wants to do. He wants to defend. I think that's probably the right decision, but he is going to pay dearly for it. One light tank going down to the turret. Now get micro onto the medium tank. That's pretty good. He's going for the MCV first, that's totally a great idea. It's going to cut off all defenses there. And over here comes the crushes, let's see how good they are. Oh, the scatter command actually made things worse, and Andrew gets a lot of great crushes there. It gets actually most of his medium, his light tanks out. And now he's going back in again, and Tux's army just evaporated due to that crushes. Little tank, or a little detachment out there pushes the harvester back, but once again, the army always have switched, so we are now ahead for Andrew. But Tux does have this extra ore field, which is nice, and I don't know why that harvester is going all the way over there. That's kind of strange. Again, Tux pushing here on the bottom. Andrew's moving out his main MCV up there, which I guess I, ha I agree with, but he probably should build another one uh, just to reestablish here because he needs his main. Oh, that war factory actually might be in a little bit of trouble, but it looks like all the rockets are going to go down. One left, and as soon as Andrew pushes in, he should be fine. Andrew coming up here on the top, going to strike back at Tux. Probably needs to go after that MCV rather than this army. But now there's a pillbox there. That's going to hurt his numbers a little bit. In fact, it looks like he's trying to push into the main. I don't know what Tux is complaining about. Something I must have missed. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's going to go okay for Andrew. The problem is he has no armor in just a second here. There he goes. Now it's just infantry. So Tux is eventually going to be able to whittle this out. I do like going after the power plant. This next one actually is going to put Tux low power, which is going to slow down everything. Oh, the build radius from the MCV is super convenient there. I'm gonna get one more pillbox out. Now Andrew keeps moving down, which is a great idea. He might get that War Factory because Tux does not have enough and he's not rallying his forces down here. Same time Tux is getting pushed back on the bottom too, oh my god. I don't know how Andrew is managed to stay in this right now, but he is fighting back truth and nail against Tux. This bottom branch gets cleared out. Looks like four harvesters went down, which is huge. Pillbox are actually gonna go down to four light tanks, which is do a decent number of damage. And suddenly Tux is, uh, he's absolutely in a lot of trouble. There's a turret up there killing those harvesters too, which is really nice. Getting these tanks in front again, and there's more tanks coming back. So Tux is, uh, wow, 6,000 to 13,000 an army. Oh, and here comes the crushers. I can smell them. Absolutely phenomenal. All the rockets gone except for two. And then somehow those rockets dodged again, but there's a lot of light tanks here, unfortunately. Andrew's going to have a little bit of problem dealing with these uh, pillboxes of tanks. Now most of the light tanks are dead. That's once again cleaned up, but... Wow, what a, what a turnaround. Andrew has a huge army in the back, too. More crushes going down just as I come back. But I think those light tanks have probably overstayed their welcome. Looks like they might get away. Sends them back to the SD, hopefully. Assuming he has one at this rate. Yep, he does. Still on the two war factories. Somehow that one did not die. I'm surprised that Tux didn't lose a single war factor there, despite being at all that pressure. Uh, Tux's eco situation looks okay. He's still got his main establish where Andrew does not, so Andrew needs to probably rotate back down. But uh, Tux doesn't have any army up here in the front. That's actually 
quite significant. He's going to try to move that MC back to his base, which is convenient just as an attack shows up and kills two more harvesters. So Tux is probably going to lose this main base, although this MCV up here in the top actually might be nice for defense placement. We'll have to see if he can even afford it. He's got one ready, and he's got some cash, so he's going to be able to place some defenses. It's all going to be right on where to places them. And that one's a little too far away. I think he needs to keep that MCV right here because this war factory is definitely going to go down. Andrew focusing on the refinery. Not a terrible idea that's going to force those harvesters away. But now Tuck should be able to clean this army up with a sport of medium tanks. Assuming he can get that other tank in front, because right now Andrew is going to take a pretty decent engagement. And there we go, those are the tanks coming front. Andrew tries to get away, but I don't think that's going to happen. Especially now that that pillbox is actually going to get more value. It's kind of crazy. Maybe that was the 5D chess gameplay of pillbox right there. That war factory, or ref rather, going to be totally fine. And Tux has another harvester right back on it. Like now we got the one-two punch. Andrew's gonna come down here on the bottom, and Chuxy once again has only the army on the top. Same time, Andrew is up to tier two, but he has no army up here, so this MCV and radar and SD are all very vulnerable. Tux is barely gonna miss that pillbox, and now he's gonna go back in. There is a turret there. Oh, and the tanks are in the back. That actually sucks. Loses his medic and something else and a rifle. Not terrible. That turret is firing on the tank, which is nice. He's gonna focus it down, and he's base pushing at the same time. Andrew just completely sells up that's interesting he's gonna clean up down here though but uh i don't know about that i guess he's got an mcv back here i think he could have waited a little longer uh drops and pillboxes to try that attack a little bit instead he gets, just gets the cash value which i guess isn't terrible too since he is kind of broke so is tux though and andrew's army right here pushing off that harvester again so once again tux has he's pretty well saturated he's just down with this one expo meanwhile andrew is down at least two cleaning up everything he's got two harvesters out there that'll have to rally back but harvester count isn't his problem his count is more just refineries near his ore andrew going to retreat fully right here looks like he's actually force firing on the ground that could be pretty dangerous if he forgets about that and tux is just gonna whittle away at the retreating army value they're just you know only four rockets there so not enough to tangle with that size army i don't think even though tux also only has four rockets he's got an extra two medium tanks to that which is really nice Looks like he's coming back here on the tank flank. Uh, there is a pillbox and a turret in a decent position, but down here is pretty exposed. These harvesters are going to get pulled back, but Andrew has all of his arm right there, so he's going to be fine. And here comes Tux down here at the expansion. One harvester going to go down for sure. Second one looks like it's going to get away. Oh, Andrew's actually pressing on this engagement, and Tux, I don't know what was happening there. I think he was trying to target fire something as infantry called away, but he's going to lose a lot of his army just for one harvester probably not worth that one but he's got quite a significant number looking back at the army tower it's actually pretty even although andrew's destroy loss is a little bit better but that's just because tux's earned is about the difference in destroy loss there andrew once again kind of death balling in the middle but it looks like tux could shave off a large number of this army if he can uh, see it but unfortunately i think it's just going to be out of his range and now Tux is actually going to be in a really bad position if he tries to take this engagement part of this hill, which it looks like he is. Andrew's in a pretty good engagement. See if he can get some crushes on there, but I don't even think he needs the crushes. Tux is going to go in for crushes, but he's not going to get a single one, and he's losing all of his armor right now. Meanwhile, Andrew is also down on armor, but the value difference in army is actually pretty big. Last minute tank goes down, and suddenly Tux has one tank left in a very exposed main base again. I guess there's another tank up here. He is taking this again from Andrew, which is nice, so he's going to keep that economic lead. But uh, I think he's about to lose his main this time for sure. I don't think there's much the Tux can do to stop it. Army of reinforcements coming in, but unfortunately coming in at the wrong angle. And his tanks were in the back. All those go down. Yeah, Tux's main base is looking pretty under threat. Harps are going to go down. Uh, that light tank goes down. That could be a big deal. That pillbox from a while ago could make a difference we'll have to see gets one rocket for sure i think that war factory is finally going to go down there is a tank flank in the back going on in there but again andrew has so much harvesters there it goes the war factory to the um, medium tank <laughs> andrew once again just kind of retreat out of there but he's going to walk into that pillbox and lose a bunch of value just on the way out and all that infantry is actually going to get cleaned up looks like this medium tank on the tank flank does go down Somehow, Andrew just has so much army every time. I'm not sure how he's managed to string this together. 
he's got to be super broke, but somehow he's floating 3k on just one, like, base, pretty much. He's got, you know, it's the expansion here, but still. A lot of light tanks, and yeah, Andrew doesn't want to take that engagement right next to the pillbox. Let Tux come out to him and then get some crushes. Andrew's kind of light on rockets right now. Tux is not, so this could be very wishy-washy on who wins this engagement. But I think Andrew's going to have a good time. There goes the crushes again. And all of the infantry for Tux is gone. That is super unfortunate for him. A lot of those light tanks remaining pretty healthy. Although there is two rockets left and he is going to lose another one. But the third war factor for Tux is not long for this world. The MC is going to get out of there. But Tux is going to have to get it out of dodge if he can. And light tanks can and will outrun it. But unfortunately it looks like Andrew is focusing on this refinery first. I think that harvester is going to get away. One more rocket. Nope gonna get away refiner's gonna go down and uh yeah this is all that's going on right now tux is kind of reinforcing on the backside another wall of pillboxes actually probably gonna make a difference there they're actually doing all number to that light tank wow and all that infantry in the front is gonna run into three pillboxes and die andrew still has these two harvesters up here so uh, he's finally broke looks like both players are broke but andrew is going to have a refinery up there in just a second which will be nice Veteran C2 on that light tank, and just, again, another huge army for Andrew. I don't know how he keeps doing it. It's like he's long-distance mining. He's leeching every bit of ore he can. Those harvesters back to work on this refinery just for it to be instantly cleared out. Uh, Tux is going to reestablish again in his main again. Probably drop the rough right here, which is smart. Although, drop it on this side is actually probably better. Uh, that way, you could just cut it off. And Andrew's going to go in here, and Tux does not have the angle I don't think Let's see how good the crushes can be on this one so far not finding much and then as soon as I say that he gets quite a number and once again Tux is going to be enveloped and destroyed there little splink down here getting two rocks that's nice looks like that pillbox might have scared Andrew off which probably probably a smart decision oh there is one rocket in that group gonna poke at those long distance harvesters one light tank going down to the rocket that's good value but uh, yeah, Tux is, I think he's in trouble once again. This this game's actually gone back and forth. This has been a really good game. Uh, very atypical. We saw tier two for about a minute maybe, and then Andrew had to sell it off, but lots of lots of light vehicle action. I think Trip T said this was probably the most light vehicles in the game. It definitely seems like it to me. Andrew's up to three war factor. He's really committed to these light tanks. Attack down here. I don't see this one going so well. Pillbox micro should be totally fine, although unfortunately it is queued up on a light tank first. Gonna lose a harvester. Uh, actually, it might get away just because the light tanks are gonna focus on the pillbox first, which they absolutely should. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice flank and tux, and he's not aware of this. This is a lot of echo that he needs right now. He's gonna try to rotate his army to the top, but a friend is gonna go down. He's gonna lose power and interacts. Gets the harvester's away, which is nice. At the same time, Andrew has uh, pushed all the eco off there, so Tux has three mining harvesters right now. I guess four, technically, with that one half mining. But he's in a very precarious position. Another pillbox down here. This time he's got good target fire, so this little tank flank's going to get cleaned up. Oh, but Andrew is splitting off his army right there. He's going to find the SD and probably kill it in just a second. He's actually got a decent angle right here, but he needs to actually attack move since he has no armor. Tux is going to be able to kill him with the range. And there he goes the SD, so now Tux is back to light tank versus light tank, but his war factory is under serious threat. I don't think he has the money to get a pillbox out. His pillbox is ready, but I don't know where he's placed it. He's actually not placed it, he's just going to lose a lot of value right here. Power plant's all going down. Still got quite a bit of power, but yeah, he's going to be down to like two raxes. Oh, I guess it's all a lot up here. But uh, I think... I think Andrew's just finally done enough that Tux is going to be pretty close to GGing out soon. Most of that infantry is going to get away, and once again, Andrew's going to have three War Factory production on light tanks, which is insane. Harvester going down here, pretty much instant pop, and I think once this army dies, which it probably will in just a second, I think Tux will probably go out and go ahead and call GG. He's going to try to reestablish an expansion again in the bottom, but uh. Needs to get those harvesters back to work. They're just kind of precarious in the middle. Oh no, I'm losing these four medium tanks just for, for free. is not going to be good. Andrew goes in, and then now the light tanks are going to come in. Fortunately, a lot of light tanks are getting targeted out, which is good. But here comes the crushes. And gone. 
And I think there goes Tux's chance to a comeback here. Those light tank crushes were absolutely brutal. And there it is. There's the GG. So Andrew beats Tux game one. That was a fantastic game to see. We'll go ahead and jump into game two. All right, we are back here in game two. Looks like Andrew has gone back to his Ukrainian ways and Tux is still sticking with allies. Any allies and actually Andrew got a random Ukraine, so just he's favored and fated to be Ukraine. We're on Westworld once again, single order deck in the middle, two double mine expo, two egg double mine expo, and then the single mine it's kind of close. To, you know, if you really want to, I guess you could just move that into feet just a little bit and crawl over there. Um, but you're probably better off doing that after you expand first, and then maybe crawl in there, and then move to the corner if you don't really want to. The only thing is, I guess maybe, I guess maybe uh, trying to expand here first and take it from your opponent, and then expanding here is actually probably the best move. Uh, just because the way this map is, the middle is super important. Uh, you can kind of cut off the flanks with just a few scouts. But uh, I haven't seen anybody do that. We'll, we'll have to see that maybe in the playoffs. That'll be something I consider. Assuming that I'm in the playoffs, you never know. It's not it's not set and done yet. Looks like Andrew is going to go for double ref and an engineer in the middle. Looks like Tux on the other hand just went for the safer War Factory rush with the Rax first before War Factory. So. Um, we'll have to see what he wants to do this time, if he wants to do something similar we did last time, the mint variant build, or... I'm pretty, pretty certain, and I say we, I mean you and I, the, uh, the viewers of this, eventually, when this video comes out. Pretty sure Andrew's gonna go with some light vehicle build. He's gonna build some APCs, he's gonna get several racks, and maybe, just maybe we'll see a second MCV by, like, mid at 8. Ooh, he did have a dog too, which is kind of spicy. Uh, that actually would be really good if Tux was going for a War Factory rush, or even just a double rough. Um, you know, getting to see that Tux isn't contesting this first means that Andrew's gonna go in, which is probably smart. Or if Tux was contesting that, then the dog could clean up an army, which would be really important. It's always nice to get that early army lead. And now Andrew's gonna go in, there's a pillbox ready, so... He's gonna see a single ref in a War Factory. And actually, people see that there is no second ref over here, so I'll have a perfect understanding of what Andrew, or what Tux is doing, rather. Uh, but unfortunately he pulls off that rifle and he doesn't see the bottom. He's gonna see it now. I think both of those are real. Yeah. So he sees that there's no second ref, so he's fairly confident that it is a War Factory first build. Which is fine. Uh, it just... It really doesn't change much between a War Factory first build and a double ref. Uh, if you do the Mint variant, then you're gonna have a little bit faster infantry production, and a little faster harvester production. And if you do, like... The normal one where you're just building a quick ram cd then you're gonna have like zero army but you're gonna be able to take an expansion earlier so either way double ref can handle that pretty well uh, it's just you know slight macro disadvantage or a bigger army advantage and if you can press that real quickly then uh a war factory first build will just fail especially on a map like this where you know you're probably gonna expand here if andrew just focuses everything and as soon as that mc arrives with just like your first couple of rockets in like the apc and a flak that that mc will be dead if he tries to run away then the flak will kill it uh, if he tries to stay, then you should be able to outlast it, unless he targets all your rockets perfectly, which is possible, but a little bit unlikely. Fourth Harvester and Fifth Harvester out for Tux, and Angie's up to four, so very close. Looks like he is actually building, uh, oh, it's, he's building the Harvester, but it seemed like it was built really fast, so Fifth Harvester going to come out for him, Tux is probably going to have MCV out just a little bit quicker. And there's the Tux fill box preventing any sort of snipes. Oh, the poor dog gets killed. I always have like the saddest death sound too. Especially when like they die to uh, rockets. Or not rockets, like rifles. Another scout going down here from Andrew. So Andrew's done a pretty good job of seeing exactly what Tux is doing. And Tux so far hasn't done anything. He's just been in his base. But uh, that'll change once he comes out because Andrew has every expansion that's scout except for his own. But now his first rocket's coming out. APC's coming out. His... MCV is going to be about, you know, a full MCV behind Tux is coming out, but again, that's not super concerning. Uh, the army value is going to be slightly ahead of Andrew's favor, and again, that's just because he went double ref where Tux did not. Another rifle scout going in here from Andrew, and does not get crushed, he's got some good moves there. But he is going to see the expansion right here, and that should probably cue Andrew to set up an attack. Uh, he's not going to see this little army in the wings, but as long as he's careful, he should be okay. Tux is scouting in the middle. 
And there's a pill box there, so his window's probably gone. He should probably focus on just defending for now, get that heavy tank up, and then maybe try to attack. It's always risky attacking with like one armor piece, because if it goes down, then like then you're just infantry, your vision's gone, and suddenly like you can very easily just lose everything. Tux is gonna go ahead and kill his oil there off. Not a bad idea. It's been sitting there gathering a little bit of money for Andrew. I mean, it's not a huge boon, but it is just enough to make it worthwhile. Good harvester transfer there. Looks like Tux is also has a good harvester transfer. And uh, he's already moved out his second MCV, so he's, he's trying to cut off the middle. Totally agree with that. We'll see how Andrew does with his second MCV. Uh, but Andrew is, uh, he's built an SD, he's built a second MCV, and he's going back into APCs, which is kind of crazy. He's doing that uh, light vehicle build. He's got a lot of army out too. 9,000 and 9,200, 300. So the army guy is actually pretty same, pretty similar. But uh, yeah, I don't know who's going to win this. It, it might come down to the crushes. Ranger getting a good scout there. Gets to see pretty much everything of important for Tux. He even sees the two racks on the way out. So, yep, he knows exactly where Andrew is. The only thing he doesn't know is that there is mass APCs coming. But he shouldn't be super concerned with it unless he is like caught moving. If you just kind of inch your army forward, you'll generally be fine. Uh, especially with medium tanks, you know, they can do a lot more damage than light tanks can to APCs. And they're also just harder to kill, so they'll keep your army a lot, a lot better than other light vehicles would. But if Tux is too aggressive and he engaged into this, and these APCs are kind of waiting in the wings, it could uh, be pretty bad for him. Two more rifle scouts going down there for Tux, and Andrew is uh, just kind of waiting. First heavy tanks out, so he's on mass APCs back into heavy tanks, which is kind of crazy. You don't really see that too often. Tux is. He's rallying everything in the middle, but I don't like his positioning. His tanks are kind of in the back. His infantry is not really close together at all. So as soon as he gets attacked or he does attack, like it's going to take just precious seconds to get everything into position. Meanwhile, like Andrew has everything pretty much clustered, although he does have this large section on the left. Looks like he's going to do like a little detachment right there. I'm not sure. Sending out some rifle scouts. And Tux is going to base push this, so this will be interesting. Like I said, now he's going in, and his tanks are kind of out of position, but Andrew's going to pull back. There's a test coil. That's interesting. And now he decides to go in, and he's going in for the crushes, and the crushes so far are pretty good. All the APCs go down, though. And now Tux is going to go in, but again, I just don't see Tux winning this battle, actually. He's losing his left flank. There's a radar dome. That'll be nice. But all of his infantry is gone. And... All of Andrew's medium tanks are pretty heavy, and there is the Tux Pog, as we knew it was coming. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I think this is going to be reverse of the Nano situation, where as soon as Tux unpauses, it's going to lose. I'll go ahead and jump this up to 200%. Let's see what the destroyed loss and stuff is looking like. Yeah, Andrew is slightly ahead there. Army values a little bit higher. Oh, already back, so that wasn't too bad. Yeah, both heavy tanks still alive. One of them about to go down. Harvester got pulled. That was excellent tanking power. And there goes the last pillbox. And Tux has pretty much nothing. This MC is going to get killed. Radar for sure. Oh no, but Andrew's on a move order. Misses this chance at the MCV, but that's okay. I think just the army value difference is going to be nice. As soon as he gets another heavy tank to the front, he'll be pretty good. He's got another one right there. Tux gets pushed back, so yeah, he's at a pretty big disadvantage right now. Uh, Andrew has the army advantage, which is really nice. But if he lets Tux stabilize for a little while, then his advantage could go away. Heavy tank barely not in front there. But it's alright, the pillbox is going to go down. And he's going to get flanked on the right side. So this side is going to die, but if he can, you know, kill a bunch of these medium tanks off, that'll actually be really good. First medium tank going down. Second medium tank and third medium tank are going to live, but he's going to lose the pillbox. And Tux is getting attacked here, the perfect timing. MCV is actually going to get away. But, again, he's going to lose his eco here. There is one more pillbox, and there's one more medium tank, or heavy tank. He's going to lose a bit of the infantry pushing in there. But, uh, I think the damage is pretty much done. Now, Andrew can go back in with a left-right punch. Should probably kill that uh, ref, just so the harvesters can't instantly come back. It looks like he's just going to run away. He's bucks the armor to come around there. At the same time, he's got this little army over here. Although, it is a little light on rockets, so... Uh, Tux is going to have to make a decision which side he wants to defend. Looks like he's just going to keep on this side, which makes sense. But uh, not killing that ref by Andrew could be a mistake right here. And uh, I think this is going to go pretty well for Tux. Yeah, Andrew's going to retreat. And Tux is going to try to hunt that down. 
And they're like, yeah, I guess he's got enough over here with the pillbox support too, but there's a third army coming in for Andrew. If he waits, that'll be really good. We'll have to see. A lot of his army over here is getting just whittled away, and eventually it's going to get all whittled away because that army catches up. Looks like he's uh, splitting and reinforcing with the fourth army. There goes the heavy tank. Now Tux's army is way out of position on the left side, right side rather. And he's going to pull this army back here. Andrew's going to retreat, and that should give him an opening here. It's going to be interesting to see if he wants to dive on this or if he's going to go all the way into the expansion. Expansion's probably not a bad idea since you know the army is kind of getting pulled away from that spot. Same time though, Andrew is sending everything over here to the side, which he kind of has to, but that is leaving a huge opening right here in the middle. The army value is actually swung in Tux's favor just because Andrew, I think, had a little bit worse macro and lost a lot on this side right here for pretty much free. But here comes this attack right here. Gonna get the Harvester, two more rockets. There we go, one more rocket, we'll do it. Nope. There's a pillbox there, that could actually matter. Uh, Tux is gonna retreat a lot of his army too, which unfortunate for him. Uh, I think had he attacked right here, it'd actually been really good. Pillbox getting some value, so far no rockets unfortunately, but actually great target fire from the pillbox right now. I don't think that SD is going to go down. It's actually going to be close with the heavy tank. He's just pulling it across the SD so it gets extra damage on it. That was nice. So the SD does go down. And he's forgotten about this army right here. Which is a little unfortunate because now he's death balling. And if that army hits, that actually is going to be pretty good. There is two testicles, but there's a lot of rockets there. We'll have to see how the flame tower micro is, honestly. Oh, a lot of that army just stopping on the exact wrong cell too. That sucks. So much of it gone already, and it gets pushed back. Meanwhile, Andrew's just going to push through here. Still needs to kill that refinery. Kill the refinery, please. Nope, he's going to retreat again. I think that's actually a mistake. Leaving that refinery twice is it's going to cost him. He's hunting down that army in the corner, which is nice. But once again, he's going to lose a lot of this army if he just retreats away. And... No tier 2 or anything out. SD's already back up for Tux. This army did get caught, and he doesn't lose the immediate of the heavy tank there, which is nice. And now Tux is going to go on a counter attack. Nope, he's going to run into Andrew's army on the left side. And Tux is, he's really starting to stabilize. He's ahead in army value now. He's going to be catching up in eco. He's actually got a huge float right now. And now Andrew's going to go in on a bad angle of attack. He's going to get forced back. Let's see if Andrew wants to wait by his defenses, or if Tux wants to just keep going where he is. He's going right across the flame tower, but he has medics. Oh, now he's going to go in, but his tank's a little out of position. And Andrew has a much better position here. He's going in for the crushes, but I don't think he needs to. Same time, Andrew's totally ready for that attack over there. I think Andrew needs to back out here. That's a lot of pillboxes. Doesn't need to lose the four heavy tanks. He's going to focus out the pillboxes. Oh, there's another one coming. One heavy tank down, two heavy tanks down. Three and four. Yeah, that was an unfortunate loose. The four heavy tanks. Tuck's going to go in right here, but he should be throttled by Andrew, if he's aware of it, but <laughs> once again, both players are going back in here, and now it's going to be bad for Tux this time. Although, if Andrew doesn't, there he goes, he gets that heavy tank up front, and Tux gets pushed back again, but Tux making the correct decision to retreat earlier before he loses everything. Uh, Andrew, on the other hand, did not retreat in time, lost all his heavy tanks for not a great thing, and now he moves his army out again, just as Tux sneaks around on the flank, so that could be very dangerous. Oh, we got another MCV pushing out, which could be pretty good for Tux. We can get that extra support from pillboxes. Testicle getting dropped. And now Andrew is going to take this engagement. I think this is going to go Andrew's way, but Tux has a lot of infantry right here. He's going to lose that heavy tank in the middle. Andrew on the right side still has not killed that ref. That is going to be a huge mistake, I feel like. Tux is flanking the top. It's about to hit. This actually might go in Tux's favor since Andrew is getting... Cleared out in the middle, and now this flank's in the top's gonna hit. Uh, he's got a huge flank here, but I don't know. MCV very far forward. But Andrew's whole main base is going down. His expansion right here is going down. It's gonna be a base race, I think, at the very end, and I don't see Andrew winning this. Tux actually bringing his MCV with him might make all the difference. Oh, and a heavy tank goes down too. That sucks. Yeah, I think Andrew's gonna get cleaned up right here especially if he focuses on the buildings while this armory comes in. 
and that's going to be it for him. You see his suspension up there got cleaned up. Now his infantry is under threat. One heavy tank left. It's in a decent position, but I don't know. There's a second heavy tank up here. Medium tank goes down. And uh, Tuck still has the mobile army, but Andrew's kind of down to just this. He's aware of that MCV. I'm pretty sure yep, he sees it. But I don't know. Two medium tanks or heavy tanks are pretty wounded. He's going to be low power here in just a second. And he has no Raxus to support right now, so no defense support except for test coil. Down goes the War Factory, and the crushes are pretty good. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Andrew has enough. I think Tux just did it right there. The Harshers are getting pulled for one last ditch armor push. They actually are going to help quite a lot. But I, I don't know. I think Tux still has the army advantage to do it. It's not that much. It's only 4,000, 6,000. So I guess this little section for Andrew is actually really important to him. But he needs to get another War Factory out ASAP. Tux has two War Factories and an SD, so he's going to be able to pump out so many medium tanks. Uh, his economic fund is looking a little bad, but he does have a little bit of extra ore, it looks like there. He needs to get some harvesters back over here. And on the other hand, I mean, he lost his main, he lost his War Factory. Oh, he's going to lose another heavy tank right there. That sucks. Probably should have waited and just built an SD, but SD is at least a minute and a half away. Andrew has a 12k float, so oof. He is going for War Factory, but yeah, War Factory and then pump out up to 7 Raxes again because you're going to be okay on Eco for just a little while and if you really need to, you know, you can get a Harvester over there since you have three. Places is War Factory over here, I agree with that. This is probably like your main base at this rate. This is very exposed. In the meantime, Tux is just rebuilding, reestablishing. I think that's his second MCV or his other MCV moving back to the middle. But yeah, not killing this is, uh, it's let Tux come back twice. Actually, Tux has three MCVs right now, which is very interesting, so... He's very base pushy today, I guess. But Andrew gonna go in here again. He's gonna kill that war, uh, Rax. Maybe kill the ref this time, but there's a pillbox, and Tux is fully prepared for this attack. Not a whole lot of rockets for Andrew at all, actually, and that's gonna be a huge problem against Double War Factory medium tank spam. Another pillbox down, and Andrew is going to lose that tank. APCs are going to get pushed back, and once again, Andrew's going to get re routed and retreat. And he's going to lose just quite a bit trying to retreat through here. Somehow, as if he's still getting away, unfortunately, it, some more rockets go down, and he needs every rocket he can get. APC going to go down in just a second, and now Andrew is getting going to get collapsed on. Great flank on the bottom right here, and he's going to lose all of his army. APCs are not going to get the crushes he needs. It does get a good one there, but Tux completely envelops him. He has a little tank flank here, and there is GG from Andrew. So Tux somehow managed to come back from defeat. I think not killing this ref was actually a pretty big one. Uh, that allowed Tux to get his eco just right back there. Uh, Andrew took a lot of losses just retreating out both those two times in the last one for sure at the very end. So well played by Tux. Managed to split one one. I'm not sure where that leads to standings. I think. Fazar said that his PC is going to get come back uh, by the time playoffs happen, so all this might not, all this might have been for not, but I'm pretty sure with that loss, Andrew is out. Tux, I think, is also out since they lost 1 1 to Andrew, so it looks like Ups will be the next contender. Uh, I'm not sure where Ian was. I think he was out too since he had a loss against Tux last time, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll be back for playoffs. And until then, I'll see y'all next time.